My name is Amar Qarghuli and I'm studying mechatronics in German Jardin University. This is my graduation project, which is Robotinio as an indoor security surveillance system. This project addressed the issue of anti-theft using modern methods, especially using a security robot called Robotino. As the incidents of theft grow more every day, the applications of security systems are more popular than ever. To prevent the damage caused by stealing, whether at companies, homes or elsewhere, the traditional security systems give some protection to the situation, but still, it has some weak points that cannot be ignored. Therefore, this paper proposes a mobile security monitoring system to improve the security of specified organizations. There is a gap between the future and the traditional security surveillance systems, and there are infinite ideas and attachments that could increase the reliability of the robot. The mission of this project is to create an indoor security system with a remote monitoring capabilities. Moreover, this project focuses on utilization of the Robotino's features, such as phase detection and motion detection systems. Both can adapt it to record and analyze the invaders. Additionally, most of this project consists of creating a program that navigates the Robotino in any building autonomously. The experiment we are doing here shows a German Jordan University as an assignment for the Robotino to monitor. The effectiveness of the Robotino's navigation was because of features like obstacle avoidance and mapping techniques that existed in Robotino. The basic idea of the project was to create a reliable navigational system for the Robotino, which serve as the basic groundwork for more advanced features. The advanced features include human detection and motion detection. Moreover, anti-tampering anti quality makes those previous features a lot efficient because it's directly connected to the server. So if any damage happened, the monitoring user will be notified. Overall, the project was very successful in programming many elements for the security robots like navigational, human detection, motion detection, and anti-tampering characters were all successful. The mobile robot system Robotino is a platform with an open mechanical and electrical interface for the integration of additional devices. It's supplied via two rechargeable 12 volt LED gel batteries. Robotino is driven by three independent omnidirectional drive units, which increase the degrees of freedom. The outer diameter of Robotino is approximately 370 mm, and the height, including the housing, is 210 mm. The overall weight is around 11 kilograms, and according to FISTO, the recommended payload is less than 6 kilograms. Robotino has three independent wheels. The wheels are mounted of an angle of 120 degrees to each other. The three omnidirectional drive units of Robotino defines the robot as being holonomic, which means that the controllable degrees of freedom equals the total degrees of freedom of the robot. In other words, the three degrees of freedom can be changed independently. This wheel is powered by a DC Denker motor with nominal speed of 3600 RPM. Robotino is equipped with nine infrared distance sensors, which are distributed all around the Robotino, with an angle of 40 to one another. Thus, obstacle can be avoided. Moreover, Robotino is equipped with a color webcam, which is equipped with a USB interface. The webcam is built in to capture and record, which can be used for further image processing operations. Control programs for Robotino can be created and executed with the help of Robotino View. Robotino View is a graphical programming language with numerous prepared functions called blocks. 
that is easily connected via input and output parameters used to establish more complicated function diagrams. Robotinio can be executed on an external PC and it communicates directly with the Robotinio server via Wi-Fi to control the robot system. The function blocks receive a direct feedback of the hardware component in order to interact directly with the robot system. To start with, first there are small steps made in order to reach the final shape of the project. So, first a line follower program was created in order to be used as a navigation system. In fact, this idea makes navigation very simple and fast. However, since Robotinio here acts as an indoor security robot, it is not recommended to be fully dependent on black lines, since these lines could be modified easily, which will cause many issues. And due to some concerns related to the wheel sensors, such as slippage or drifting, the solution was a color or special max tracking. This mechanism is very helpful since it provides Robotinio with the actual coordinations that can solve the issues of the wheels. Further experiments made to reach to the perfect solution with the available tools of course, such as active or passive obstacle avoiding. Autonomous means to be fully adapted on the sensors and on the information that the robot can get directly from the environment with no earlier input information. The Robotinio in this case does not have any idea of the place, its position and, and the type of building navigating inside. Moreover, the laser, finder, laser range finder attachment is not available, therefore the robot will not able to predict the next move. Autonomous navigation let the Robotinio route around the whole building and will not face any problem since all the possible situation that could face the Robotinio can be summed up as shown. There are many situations that the Robotinio needs to make a decision. For example, in a situation where there are four-way intersections or in a situation there are T intersection, all of these situations were put in consideration and the autonomous navigation program was modified in, a, in order for Robotinio to create one general rule that can deal with all these conditions. However, the Robotinio is not used to know which situation is facing, but to move on to it. Temper system is a software which makes it harder for an attacker to modify it. The involved measures can be passive such as communication condition or active temper detection techniques which aims to make a program that break down or not operate at all if something is changed. For example when the camera or the sensor received an error. It is a temper resistance implemented in the software domain especially in our project since it is an indoor security robot which suffers from many types of damages. In these scenarios, we made some scenes about the possible damage, such as the camera, Wi-Fi router, or even the main supplying power cables, in addition to other probable attacks.
The mapping program is very essential because it's a reliable tool to show the navigation efficiency and the path of earlier navigations. There are several ways to do mapping, but one needs to examine what is required. For example, 3D map models for any building requires tools like laser range finder sensor at least. Therefore, in order to have a successful mapping technique, a person needs to know the required task and its available and requisite sensors. In this project, mapping is essential to be sure of the efficiency of autonomous navigation. Therefore, the wheel sensor odometry were used for mapping, however, it was not accurate enough because of many factors like slippage and drifting. Also, it's highly recommended to not depend on such sensors to build the path map due to its very low reliability. Moreover, as we mentioned earlier in our case, we are not concerning about the accuracy, so it is possible to use mapping program. Additionally, in order to understand the effectiveness of Robotinium, it is important to check the journey that the Robotinium made. However, many of the previous mapping projects used laser range finder sensor, which is very accurate and dependable technique. However, it is not av available in this project. On the other hand, the required goal of mapping is only draw a path. Therefore, mapping itself is not very essential. Many articles suggest that in order to draw a path, there are two possibilities for two methods, outdoor and indoor navigation. Outdoor navigation needs to be done with GPS and some extra sensors. On the other hand, indoor navigation was used in this project and planned floor was essential in indoor mapping. And GPS was not used in this project because the GPS signal inside the building is not reliable in indoor autonomous navigation. Robotinio Indoor Security Project is only a tip of the iceberg of a coming potential possibilities in the future. More capabilities will show up for such robots, as well as increasing number of security robots. Imagine if the facility used a couple of these Robotinios working together as a potential of this project and what it can provide is outstanding. Music